All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate why backlinks are important for SEO. And I'm going to give you some examples as to why I believe that backlinks are still a big part of SEO and why a lot of other SEO experts in the industry also say the same thing. So I think the best way to do this is I'm just going to pull up a bunch of different keywords and show you what's actually ranking on Google. And then from there, we can deduce whether backlinks are an important factor for ranking or not. So let's take, for instance, any random keyword. I'm going to switch this to the US though, because in New Zealand, it's probably not going to be as good of a difference. It's not as competitive, but let's say we pick in America, it's quite a competitive competitive industry as a whole on SEO. And let's just go with something like plumbers and we'll search it. And I'll go through a couple of different keywords to show you examples of what I'm talking about here. But basically my point for establishing why backlinks are actually still important is that if we take a look at number one page for the keyword plumbers, which is scored as a very difficult keyword to rank for. The first thing we can notice here is that the page authority score of everything that's ranking on this page is relatively high. Now there are some anomalies and they're always are in Google. However, I'll explain to you what's going on here. And I'll also show you overall why I'm making my point. So if we take a look at all of these websites, this is the page authority score. So this is not the whole website's authority score. It's just this specific page. But if we take a look here, all of these have a relatively high page authority score. Now the ones that have a low page authority score, let's take for instance, the few that have the lowest. So this one is interesting because the whole website is not that high in its ranking. So this this is the domains one. We'll open this up and we'll open up this one, Home Depot. That's the other low one and Plumbing Zone. Now, if we take a look at Plumbing Zone, they've got 105,000 backlinks from 75 domains. And if we take a look at Plumber Supply, they got 55 and a Home Depot is not relevant because they're going to be very authoritative. So the point that I'm trying to make here is that the ones we've just opened with a lower authority score, specifically House and Home Depot. If we take a look at these ones, House, we go domain overview. What you're going to see here is that the page authority score is only 21. But if we go to the domain overview is 73. So the website itself has an authority score of 73, which is very, very high. Now, if we go to Home Depot, again, we're going to see the similar thing. Page authority score is 28. But if we go to the home page or the domain as a whole, 98, one of the highest authority scores on the internet, basically. Now, if we go to these guys, these ones have a low authority score, a lower one, which is 25. And if we take a look at Plumbing Zone, have a look at the same thing. Now, I have a suspicion just having a quick look at that traffic graph and I'll explain to you why I think these guys are on the homepage. These guys also have relative low authority score. But what I did notice is at least on the other one on Plumbing Supply Co, look how much organic traffic they get from their brand searches. And I've got a feeling that this is why Google has placed them on page one, even though they have a relatively low page authority score, they're getting a lot of branded traffic, which is telling Google that they're clearly relevant for the keywords plumbers. And so I think having that keyword in their domain, plus being searched so much is what's getting them to page one. Now, Plumbing Zone is an interesting one because they actually do rank for keyword plumbers, but they don't necessarily have a high authority score. This one might just be a bit of an anomaly that does happen sometimes, but we're going back to the point of why backlinks are important. If we take a look here, all of these websites have some backlinks of some kind and a relatively decent authority score. I mean, even 25 is a low, but it's okay. Like it's getting up there. There's no one here that has no backlinks on page one for the keyword plumber. And what you'll notice is as you go further down the results, the numbers start to get lower and lower. So this one is going to probably take a while because it's a relatively competitive keyword. But we can see here only on page three, are we now starting to get just pages without backlinks, but these are on websites that still have authority, for instance, expertise.com and this old house.com that's got authority already true plumbers. This is a low one that has 11 and this one has six, but we're on page three and they still have backlinks. We have still not seen a single domain with no backlinks that's actually ranking on even page three. Now, if we go to page four, now we're starting to see less referring domains and less page authority score for the particular pages. And then as we go down, it gets closer and closer to zero typically. So this pattern is very repetitive across basically anything. If we look for literally anything else, let's go pet supplies. You will see this exact same thing. So page 
page one has a lot of backlinks or results with backlinks, high page authority scores. You can see that here. These are the domains. You can see, look at these authority scores, 71, 39, 86, 56, 75, etc. Now, authority scores purely built off backlinks. Well, mostly. So they play the largest role in that, which is basically telling you that you need backlinks to rank for competitive keywords. Because if that was not the case, we would be seeing examples of websites with extremely low or even zero authority score ranking on page one for these competitive keywords. And the simple fact is, if we go down the list here for pet supplies, same issue. There is still none here. This again is a subdomain. It's not the main domain. There is still no websites with no links and no referring domain ranking here and we keep going down we're on page four now still no example this is an internal page we can keep going it's probably going to take us till who knows how far down to start seeing we're still getting like relatively high backlinks but these will be less optimized sites that'll be why they're not on page one now we're getting to page nine and we're still not seeing any with low these are still relatively high authority scores and it's because again this keyword is extremely difficult but you get my point there is no example of low authority score websites ranking for these keywords which means that you need backlinks to rank for this otherwise there would be examples of websites that are simply just well optimized but have no links or very low links and very low authority score ranking for these keywords and it's simply not the case we can basically pick any other one we want let's say personal injury lawyer which is another stereotypically difficult one you're going to have exactly the same problem backlinks look how many look at the authority scores on these and these is pages again it's not uh authority score of the main domain I and mean, we keep going down we're going to see the exact same pattern so basically seeing this proves that you do need links to rank because otherwise there would be websites with no or very little links ranking for these searches. And I have never seen an example of anywhere here where a site is ranking with zero backlinks in a competitive domain. Yes, there are instances where for some uncompetitive searches that they're not very competitive. Let's say for instance, that's probably not a good example, but we can take a look where somebody has just optimized their site better than everyone else in a niche that's not that competitive and they rank with less backlinks. That does happen but the competitive ones are what speaks volumes because if backlinks truly did not matter then even in a competitive niche it wouldn't make any difference now the other thing that you need to keep in mind here is that if we think about this logically what factors does google have to determine whether a website is actually good for what they're trying to show up for so you do have content but the problem you have now is that ai has eliminated a lot of the content thing before content used to be quite highly regarded and i mean it still plays a massive part don't get me wrong but the problem you have is now basically anyone can spit out decent content with just chat GPT alone, let alone all the other tools that are available, which means that it's far too easy to rely on content. So they can't do it because anyone can make good content very, very easily and very quickly at scale. So the only other thing they really have to rely on is external factors like backlinks and let's say social signals and user behavior on the site. And so these things do play a part, but one of the key things is backlinks and relevant backlinks from high authoritative and need relevant sites which is telling google what these sites are relevant about and so that's why i do think backlinks especially now since like the helpful content update and ai and all this stuff i do think backlinks are actually becoming more relevant and i agree with a lot of the other people saying the same because logically speaking it makes sense and page one of google is dictating the fact that that does seem to be the case so that's my argument for why i think backlinks are actually still quite important for seo and you need to do them now that's not saying that you can't succeed with doing like very little backlinks or other things but if you're competing in a competitive niche you're going to need some form of backlinks to help you out or at the very least do a very good job at acquiring backlinks naturally to get your site up there so if you disagree with me if you have any comments or questions put them in the comments below and i will answer them otherwise if you'd like me to coach you on how to do seo and google ads for only 49 dollars a month go to learndominatemarketing.com and if you'd like us to do the seo or google ads for your business go to dominatemarketing.io book a call with us there catch you on the next one.